Hello everyone, welcome to the Mint Analysis for 5th March 2022. So today's first headline is UPL in merger talks with two American companies. So UPL is an agrochemical company and it's one of the biggest companies, uh, agrochemical companies in the world. Its full form is United Phosphorus Limited and this company is trying to merge with two other American companies. And these two American companies also have a sustainability oriented business. So what's the benefit of getting in a merger with these two companies? So the benefit that it will be getting is that it will be able to have a premium on its stocks. So that's the first benefit that <clears throat> it is aiming towards. And also the American companies he is trying to merge with, these American companies also will get a benefit because UPL is headquartered in India. And in India, the agricultural market is very large. So by in, by having a merger with UPL, they will be able to you know have a foothold in Indian market and that to a profitable agricultural market. So this is a mutual benefit game here and that's why they want to have a merger. Next is stocks skid again amid firm crude and weak rupee. So stocks are go further going down and this magnitude is uh, can be represented here which is nifty went down with from uh, with by 1.53 percent and sensex by 1.4 percent respectively so this is a news repetitive news that we have come across the same goes for next news which is lic ipo so i would uh, request you to go to my previous video of 28 feb where we you know you can have a full story of these repetitive news it will help you in gaining the concepts and what is going on right now because it, so yes our next news was investor interest key in LIC IPO. So this news says that how much interested the investors are in LIC IPO will further on decide whether it will be further extended, delayed or it will be there in few days. So that's the news here. Next is Hero Motor Corp enters EV sector under Vida brand. So you have seen that electric vehicle sector is gaining attraction from various consumers in fact the sales have gone up multifold in previous few weeks so hero motor corp and other such automobile players will try to enter ev sector gradually so here hero motor corp has already announced that it is going to announce uh, have a ev you know company which will go under vida brand so that's what it plans right now and you will see these kind of news even frequently in coming future. Now next is retailers step up play in the home category. So why we are able to see this trend? It is because during the pandemic the construction activity actually increased. So people were at home and they utilized this time to have to renovate their homes. and when you renovate your home you actually try to have a decor inside as well so as a result the construction went up and the decor sector also saw a push so that's why now retailers are trying to you know capitalize on these gains and they have come up with uh, so many new home categories and furnishing ideas so that's why it is gaining a momentum here next is Government plans to bring out new accounting norms for LLPs. So first is what is LLP? LLP is Limited Liability Partnership and usually when you are establishing your business, you prefer LLP over a company because LLPs are more you know, convenient to establish. They have lesser disclosures to make. So this were, these were the benefits. And right now government has announced a plan to have some new accounting norms in LLPs. So what will happen because of it is that now they will have to make more disclosures. So it will improve the quality of financial accounting and that's what is their aim is right now. So this is the news. Next is private companies must invest in green energies, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pushing green energy sector and we all know the reason that it is because of a goal that we have all the economies have set which is zero carbon emission so to pursue it he is pushing green energy and it's not the only sector he is pushing apart from this as well he is pushing chip manufacturing sector 
and he is also pushing building infrastructure through pm gati shakti so these are the few initiative that he is taking and when uh, a leader of a nation stresses these sector he stresses it by you know announcing some pli schemes for example in the sector of ev as well we were able to see that there was a pli scheme so these public linked incentive plan actually provide the incentive to companies to take up these step to invest more in these industries so these are some sectors that he is trying to push and according to me that these are the companies which you know these these are the sectors in which the, they have an opportunity for the companies to actually invest and get larger returns uh, by having the benefits of pli schemes as well that's all we have in today's newspaper hope you have liked it if you have liked the video please please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will be sharing the required links of 28 february in my in the job in the description so if you want you can you know have a look from there on and also i will be sharing a link for my telegram channel which you can join for text analysis and early access to all these pdfs so thank you for watching